You don't want to fall behind. Ah! Well, you don't see that every day. No, you don't, my man. No, you don't. Who here still believes that Total Drama is a kid's show? Um, what about the rectal scan? <sighs> For the last time, Jude, retinal is the eye, rectal is the butt. No, not that one. Like how you're a two-faced, backstabbing, lying little Yeah, that one. Man, time's changed, hasn't it? It's no surprise that animation now and in previous eras not only targeted to kids, but also adults as well. Although some people to this day still say that animation is just for kids. This ballroom used to host the most elegant balls in its day. Whoa, were they big? Oh, they were huge! <laughs> Ow! But regardless, we remember a lot of great cartoons and we still watch it today. However, let's remember that these cartoons are made by adults, so there is a large chance that an adult joke will sneak its way into an episode. No, 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 fingerprints. I don't think so. Gary! Pure fiction, Eddie. Your exaggerated tale can only be described as cockamamie. Tesk, tesk, tesk. I have never heard such language. Yeah, he made us in his laboratory by accident. Well, what can I say? Don't worry, Professor. I was an accident, too. Ooh, my childhood. So, total drama. No surprise, it has tons of adult jokes. Probably some that went way over our heads the first time we watched them. Despite that Cartoon Network pointlessly censoring out words like crap and sucks, yet allows pixelated nudity, we still got some jokes to look out for. And as a warning, most of these are sexual, so hide your kids, parents. But... Seriously, hide them from my videos. I don't want YouTube to come after me. Allow me to present to you and your crushed childhoods. Here are the top 10 adult jokes in Total Drama. Hey, check it out. I got wood. Ah, oh, fuck. I gotta add Dave in this list. As much as I would love to rage quit and probably break my laptop in half on the mere mention of Dave. But I'll let this one slide. For now. Uh, so in the last episode of Pack of Shit Island, when Sky and Sean race each other down the snowy mountain using any and all kinds of junk available. Unfortunately, they would also need to get help from their partners as well, with Sky stuck with Dave, which sucks, and Sean with Jasmine, which doesn't suck. No surprise, Dave and Sky have trouble trying to cooperate of skiing down the mountain, and in the confessional, this asshat slips this out. Jasmine's a bit more solid than me, but I plan to start bulking up when I get back home. You know, work out, eat more carbs. Look, this story's gonna have a happy ending. The boy gets the girl, the girl gets the money. What? D did Dave just imply Sky is a prostitute? What the fuck, dude? If you've watched the Cartoon Network edited version of Total Drama Island, you may remember this scene. Where are the outlets? Plug in my straightening iron. There are some in the communal bathrooms just across the way. Where's the spa? I'm confused. Wow, that's a shocker. It means we shower together, idiot. Yeah, that is some real bad lip syncing, and the joke doesn't make any sense. However, if you watch the unedited version, where are the outlets? I have to plug in my straightening iron. There are some in the communal bathrooms just across the way. Communal bathrooms? But I'm not Catholic. Not communion, communal. It means we shower together, idiot. That was a religious joke. A weird, out of context, religious joke. Oi. Oh, Cody, that sneaky little pervert. Not only did he somehow manage to earn Gwen's bra to win a bet with Owen by hooking her up with Trent, but the code Meister also made her look at a small sausage with x-ray glasses. Dude, I understand he wants to get it on with Gwen, but it ain't gonna happen. But he got some excitement with Lady Liberty's, um, chest and world tour, at least before he was going to die and then rescued by Sierra. 
for a second, I actually thought I was going to die in there. But what a way to go. <laughs> True that. <laughs> well, I agree. What a way to go, all right. And speaking of chests, no, we're not there yet. In the Total Drama Action Manhunt Special, the cast needs some sort of catapult to attack against the Total Drama Dirtbags bus with an appearance from Alejandro. And when Harold suggests a... Like a bra! Wow. Genius. Got any better ideas? Here's a bra! What? You never seen Triple D's before? No. No, I haven't. And now I have. Oh, I'm not gonna leave the redonkulous race out of this one. In the episode New Beijinging, when the ice dancers jump off the plane but go off course because of the wind, Jacques crashes into a billboard with a donkey on it. Guess where I'm going with this. That shock for you, always trailing behind. But still, he's an asset to the team. More like he made an ass of himself. In the Camp Castaways episode, the one which Mr. Coconut debuted in, the four finalists are stuck inside the treehouse thinking of what they're going to do to survive. Gwen is panicking that the producers think that they're dead and they won't get off this island. Owen panics as well, but it was too much information. We are? Ah! Heavenly hash! We're gonna die! And I've never even had a date! Or held hands! Or fulfilled any of my Owen gets jiggy fantasies! Like the one where- Duh! Make him Stop! Are you fucking kidding me? Parents, you might want to be careful when you give your kids a thermometer to check their temperatures. Because there is a chance that it's not a thermometer meant for the mouth. Here's an example of Duncan giving a thermometer to Harold. Want us to take your temperature with this thermometer? Is that a rectal thermometer? You're the sick one. A rectal thermometer. A thermometer for the ass. <laughs> <laughs> it seems after watching this Total Drama Action Aftermath special, I think Izzy is a little bit crazier than I thought. And a creeper. She mentions about her old boyfriend, Graham Cracker, that's funny, and how he put a restraining order on her which, based on Izzy's attitude, is completely justified. Unfortunately, Izzy goes a little bit too in detail on what she does to him. By the way, Graham, you should get new blinds for your room. What are they made of, lead? I couldn't see a thing with my binoculars. <laughs> Miss you, Graham Cracker. So Izzy is denoting that she is a stalker, a peeping Tom. Oh god, I can't imagine how easily uncomfortable and frightening that would be. And in the worst case scenario, if you got out of the shower and your blinds are open? Ugh. Look, Owen, I, he's a cool and friendly dude, don't get me wrong, but... Can he please keep his damn clothes on? We get to stay, yay! We get to stay, yay! We are so awesome! We won the contest! There might be a lot more that I ignored, so let me know in the comments what hidden adult joke did you manage to find in Total Drama. But before we head into number one, let's take a look at some honorable mentions. I see the way she looks at me, like she's unpantsing me with her eyes. I'm glad we're in our own cabin with just guys, you know what I mean? <laughs> Our camo banifrit was beautiful, and deserts are really hot. If we win the million, we're launching a Stop Riding Camels campaign. Take hikes, not humps. Or we could call it something else. I'll pass on the frilly, girly hair care, thank you. Very unsportsmanlike, Ms. Tyson. This was fixed! <laughs> I have cow boobies on my head!
Courtneyer, play dirtier. <laughs> what? I like when you talk like that. This is by far the most notorious but legendary adult joke in the entire series. In the Extreme Torture episode, you know what, I'll let this scene speak for itself. <laughs> so, Heather's top was ripped off, and now she's showing off her pixelated hooters in front of the whole world to see. Why was this on Cartoon Network? Harold's reaction? That is extremely relatable to the tween boys who first saw this. Let's not forget about the end to which Harold is proud and he feels like a man after he saw some good old animated titties. Though everyone thought that Harold saw Lashana's, but nope. You think I'd actually show that dweeb my boobs on purpose? There is a video floating around of an uncensored version of this infamous moment on YouTube and rumors went out that they actually aired this in Canada. Unfortunately, that is not true and that version was fan made. Although why would they air this on a network with cartoons that is mostly targeted to kids? That just makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. In the end, there will never be a dirtier joke in Total Drama than this one. Wait a sec. So, Harold saw your boobies? Can we see? Heck no! <laughs>